obviously a disappointing end of the game. Uh, disappointing end to a disappointing season is the best way I can sum that one up. Uh, really thank the 14 seniors. Uh, you know, we've had, in, in what I thought, uh, a good two weeks to uh, get these guys in, in position to send them out right. You know, uh, thought everybody involved did, did uh, uh, you know, did care and, and did play with effort. Uh, you know, thought we had an issue with that two weeks ago as I made that known. I don't think that was it today. You know, bottom line, you can't turn the ball over like we did and win. So, questions? What was the message there when you were talking to the guys afterwards? <clears throat> now, Sarah's? Well, just just uh, just that, you know. I mean, we played, uh, and we knew what we were going to be getting with these guys. I mean, they're no different than us. Uh, they're they're no different than us. They've they've played with tremendous effort all year. They've been in every game but one. Uh, you know, they they've uh, much like us, uh, just haven't made enough plays to be able to win games. You know, today they made more than we did. So we knew we knew what we we're going to get. You know, you got to play with effort. <laughs> <clears throat> do think we did played it play, played with effort I uh, thought we tried I uh, thought we cared and went out there and and uh, just just didn't finish the game <clears throat> Dana if you those turnovers look close what, what was your view on some of those <clears throat> I thought they were good calls you know uh, you got the ball in your your possession you need to main it needs to maintain in your possession I mean it's pretty basic fundamental aspect of football so uh, you know the the one on the goal line obviously stung first and one can't do that tried to put it over the <coughs> the, the the goal line you know he felt bad about it you know every kid wants to do that because they want to score but you know it's gonna it's gonna end up biting you more than it's gonna turn out good for you uh, so can't have turnovers I don't even know what we had it seemed like we had a bunch so but obviously at the end of the game were the ones that cost us For you guys, it's, it's another multi-score lead evaporating in the second half. I mean, it, <laughs> that's obviously not something you can get comfortable with or, or really figure out. I think you talk about your reaction on the on the sidelines as as that's slipping away. Keep coaching. Keep coaching. Keep playing. Any common theme with that that you've noticed as, as the season's gone? Talked on? about finishing all year long. You know, it's obviously going to be something that's going to be uh, addressed in the off season when it comes to you know the issues that we've had this year of not being able to close games. You know, why why can't you close games? I, it's, it comes down to execution. You know, <clears throat> you know, a burning desire to win, a collection of of guys that 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 don't want to let each other down, coaches and players involved. Obviously, we're not at that point right now. About the effort you got from from Sims today, <laughs> same thing every day. It's a tremendous football player that's going to be playing for a while. Glad we had him for a year. Yeah, did you sense offensively you had a couple of things going for you, and then maybe either got away from or had them taken away from you? It was, <clears> it was a weird game without a lot of float, a lot of stops, interruptions, events. Yeah, had almost 600 yards of offense. I mean, you can keep telling about telling us that you guys can keep writing stuff about how bad we are on offense, but uh, you know, we're we're we were improving. You know, you can't give up 575 yards and win. You can't turn the ball over offensively and win. I think we all saw what happened. Nobody's happy about it. <clears throat> Just stuff I got to address, obviously. Dana, your your thoughts on the, the size of the crowd? Have you not held back on your your feelings on that in the past? Uh, I've I've complimented our crowd endless times, you know, and and appreciate the the crowd that was there today. Thought they had energy. It's tough when you don't have the student, you know, uh, school is in session. <clears throat> but uh, the rest of it, I thought was good. Appreciate their support. And is there any part of you after a season like this that is just glad to have it over with and start on the next one? Well, I, I, you know, I mean, it's been tough. I mean, I think you guys can.
feel feel my my pain on that. Uh, you know, we've been in three overtime games. We've won one. We've lost two. Those are tough. Those are tough to deal with. Uh, you know, we it, you know we talked down. You know, one of the other things we talked about down there was you know other than just appreciating the seniors and the 14 guys for what they've done to the programs. 2014 starts tomorrow. It starts tomorrow. Uh, we'll be out on the road recruiting, which obviously recruiting is something that needs to improve. Uh, <clears throat> you know, and then just getting the guys, to, uh, the the returning guys, to buy into what we're doing. Uh, not going to change a whole bunch. You know, thought we made progress in the last. Uh, thought we made progress in the last year, and and you, you know, it's it's the record doesn't show it. Which ultimately, that's what I'm going to be judged on. I understand that, but I, that you know, but what we've done in the last year, we're gonna we're gonna crank it up and do it a little bit harder. How do you think Jeremy Tyler fared out there? He looked to be involved with a lot of plays. You know, he played he played a position that that is going to be involved. Uh, you know, anytime you're down on the line of scrimmage and around, you know, that area, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be involved. You know, how exactly did he play? I, I, I don't know. <clears throat> you know, he hadn't played a whole lot of snaps prior to today. You know, so I'm not going to make I'm not going to make excuses for why we gave up 575 yards. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of kids out there that hadn't played a whole lot of football. Iowa State scored 17 points in the last 10 minutes of the fourth quarter. Was that something they were doing differently? Was it complacency on defense? I don't know, that's why we film it. We'll look at it, try to improve on it. In the regulation, then you had with the eight seconds to go, you had the spike with still a timeout there. I mean, was that the, kind of an automatic call, or is there an option there? Are you making that decision on whether to call a timeout or spike it? <clears throat> well, I thought the spike was the right thing because we only had one timeout. At that point, you know, so um, no, I thought that was fine. The delay, I can't explain the delay. I mean, that you get a call in there, and you, you know, we just, you know, we just didn't, we didn't snap it quick enough. If, and, and the play was designed to do exactly what it did: just flip it tomorrow and let them try to get ten yards and kick a fifty-five yard field goal. Maybe you win. <clears throat> you know, the the delay took us out of that situation, which can't explain that. That's on me. Fourth quarter, you want to use some time and run the ball, I imagine, and you gained only four yards rushing. What, what happened in the fourth quarter as far as the running game went? Uh, I don't know. I thought we ran the ball pretty good, Bob. You know, we got 212 yards rushing, you know, fourth quarter. <clears throat> you know, they're they're not bad against the run and had some more people up in there that you, 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 can, you can sit there and have the mentality. I think there was about eight minutes on the clock. Because uh, we didn't have the ball a bunch, but uh, <clears throat> you can sit there and have the mentality where I'm going to run the ball three times and then let the clock run. And keep, so, you know, with that mentality, you're you're going to end up punting in three. You know, I mean, we ran the ball and get negative one yards. Well, if you run it again, you might get two yards, but you're going to end up punting. So it, it's that whole four minute offense discussion. I mean, we're just going to keep playing ball. At, well, eight minutes to go in the game, we got to keep playing ball. Talk about the progress towards the end of the season, you guys. What what gives you the most confidence, the most hope heading into the <laughs> you saw out of, you, out of your guys? Well, the continuity. The thing we talked about this Tuesday. I mean, that the, uh, the, the the lack of continuity that existed with us offensively is something I don't anticipate happening again. So you, you get guys like Mario who starts getting comfortable making plays. <laughs> you know, that's one example, but. Uh, you're going to have a, a collection of guys who are going to understand what we're trying to do a little bit better, which means that we can coach them on technique a little bit harder. Um, the, the more continuity that exists, the better we're going to be offensively. You mentioned Mario there. Uh, really blossomed, had a, had a huge game for you today. How different have you seen him since you've kind of moved him around? And He's just more familiar, more comfortable with what we're doing offensively. You know, I mean, you take a guy who just joins us in August and – it's gonna take some time before he gets it. I'm glad he, glad he got it this year. You know, Kevin's shown some signs of being the guy that's gonna be pretty good for us, and, and um, you know, Dekeel as well. You know, it's just there's a lot of lot of examples out there of guys that are just now, you know, kind of trying to figure out what we're doing. You know, it makes a little bit more sense to them. So look forward to coaching those guys in the off season for sure.